Pico commenced as a gold mining company in 1949, after the discovery of this original outcrop had led prospectors to the gold ore body. But by 1953, the mine's great copper potential had been recognized and activities are now concentrated on exploitation of the rich copper load. The hub of all this activity is the administration center, which is also vitally concerned with housing, welfare, and amenities. Living quarters and streets were laid down to a master town plan, houses designed to suit climatic conditions. These homes for key married personnel are fully furnished and all electric. There are 25 children on the mine and a schooling is provided for them at Tennant's Creek. Single men's quarters are most comfortable. In fact, every facility is provided for the 150 employees on the mine. Even the drudgery of wash day is lightened with labor-saving devices, such as the laundry's electric washing machines provided free of charge for the use of employees. The Recreation and Sports Club is, like the canteen, run by a committee of the men with a manager they appoint. Good idea. Imagine a place like this without it. They always get a good roll-up. In fact, for a little speck out in the middle of nowhere, Pico's pretty alive at night. Some shopping to do in the canteen store. The profits go to the recreation club. And the women folk get as big a kick out of it as if it was a large city department store. Another territory night. People at play, people at morning at Pico. The day shift taking over. My day shift starts at about nine o'clock. When I first answered the advertisement, kindergarten teacher wanted for Pico Mines Northern Territory, well, I didn't know quite what I was coming to. But I found one of the best equipped kindergarten establishments I've seen. In fact, kiddies come to us, not just from our own families, but from other places nearby, like the gold mine Noble's Knob. Wherever they come from, they're lovely kids. The preschool centre was named after the late Mr. Sangster. It's all thanks to his good work that it's there. Chairman and managing director of the company for many years, he did so much for the mine and its people. I found it most interesting becoming part of a place, growing into it. Pico's much like any other community. Main topic of conversation is the heat and the dust, or the wet. Only a few days of it, but the drenching rain makes our harsh country live again. <laughs> 